These piglets were born after the winter. The birth was outside in a nest built by their mom. After a few days they start foraging for their own food. Their habitat consists out of forest and meadows. Here they were rooting the winter rye. The animals stay in the same place for a few months. So they don't disrupt the environment. They live all over these regions in forests. They live likewise to hogs in the wild, so creating their own sleeping place is an important part of that. They make a nest every evening. And with cold weather, they provide a better nest. And only after everyone is covered, the nights begin. The pigs have an influence on the forest. Walking trails emerge, as so tunnels underneath the blackberries and plants get pruned. Here they walk in an old beech forest. The ecological effect of the pigs will grow every year. Plant diversion will enlarge and the forest will become rougher. Another forest is the ash forest. Many trees have fallen prey to the S disease, but new trees emerge. Pigs look for food on land. But also in water. And experienced hogs can even completely go underwater or go for a swim. But bathing in it is also fine. They will do that a couple times a day. For the bathing area, they will create a mud pool. This will encourage the flora and fauna at the riverside. Sticklebacks will gather at these places in groups of a couple hundred. Because of the safety that the pigs provide and when the pigs drink they let food fall out of their mouth and they eat that. Our pigs walk in beautiful biotopes. 
where their presence will show effect after a short period. The top layer of the ground changes and after a week we see a new variation of vegetation. After rooting, new plants get a chance to grow and new microclimates emerge, herbs will blossom and the monoculture of the grass will come to an end. This will happen after a proper use of the animals, something that we will monitor closely. And the Dutch nature will reap the rewards. But the pigs won't worry about that, they just do as they do, when they do, in the forests, acres and meadows of Bosgoed.